This is Mahesh Ravi and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create this particular graphic. Yes sir, yes sir, sir. So this particular style of design is called deconstructivism or controlled chaos. We are sort of creating a very chaotic scene but still we have to make the content readable and accessible to the user. We're going to create a, a sort of visual interest, a dramatic interest, but at the same time, we are keeping the content very readable. So let's get into Photoshop and try to make this effect. So we are here in Photoshop and I have a couple of images uh, that I will be using in this graphic. So we're going to go to create a new document first. I'm going to set the composition to um, a film and video and I'm going to take the 19201080 preset click create and we have uh, the document right here so I'm going to go to file and I'm going to take an image into Photoshop to use as a background so I have this stock photo right here it's a very low resolution image which is perfectly okay for this purpose because I'm going to use it um, as a background which is pretty blurred right so I have this right now and I'm going to scale it up so that it fills my whole frame I'm going to go to filter, click blur and apply a Gaussian blur to the maximum so that um, you know, I'm getting this pretty interesting um, gradient as a background which looks pretty cool. So since we are, but we're going to go and we're going to create the other elements which are required into this design. So um, I'm going to type in the text. Scale it up. So this is the text that we're going to use, right? Let's use this text, axe on the head. And um, I also have a broken glass image. So let's bring that element right in here. So we're going to go to place embedded. I'm going to choose the broken glass image right here and I'm going to place it right on the design. I can just scale it up a bit. So we can, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to now go in and change the blending mode of this to screen. So we're gonna get um, yeah, an effect like this and it looks pretty good. I'm gonna move my um, you know text so that we can see a little bit of that content through this broken area. You know, this is, this is good enough. To make this effect work, I'm gonna make the background a little darker. So let's go here. Let's add some levels adjustment to the background. I'm gonna make it a little darker. This is fine. So everything looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text and I'm going to make it a raster layer because what I'm going to do is I want to separate the text into two layers. I want to break it into two layers. Um, whatever we are actually seeing through this broken piece where, where, where there is no glass in here, whatever we are seeing through that needs to be very clear and whatever we are actually, whatever part of the text that we are seeing through the glass needs to be slightly blurred out. So to do that, I need to separate this. Right? So I need to cut a portion from here. So to do that, I am going to go to the broken glass layer. I'm going to take the one tool and I'm going to select the uh, central area here. I just want this particular selection. So I'm going to change the tolerance down to 10. I'm going to click on this area. So we are sort of getting that shape selected. I'm going to go back to the uh, text layer. We're going to select it, that particular uh, part of the text and I'm going to say layer where cut so that part of the text becomes separate from the rest of the text. I'm going to call it without glass and the rest of the text let's call it through glass. So the through glass part I'm going to reduce the opacity of that bit so the part that we are actually seeing through the glass is slightly uh, you know less visible and I want to add a little bit of blur but before that I want to take this text and match it with the cracks here so I want to just slightly offset pieces of that text I'm going to take the through glass part make sure that that's selected I'm going to take the polygonal lasso tool I'm going to just make um, the text into different pieces so this particular part of the text is going to be one element so I'm going to layer where I cut that right and uh, let's take maybe this so that's another part of the text and uh, maybe we can take 
this. And make it another part. So we have different, uh, you know, cuts of glasses. So something like this. We separated the cuts into different pieces right now. Now I'm going to select these parts and slightly offset them. So I'm going to select Control T and just rotate it a bit so that it's slightly broken and it's sort of moving away. Right. So um, let's take uh, this part and just slightly move it like this. So it's sort of broken. It looks like it's broken uh, with the glass. We can also add a little bit of Gaussian blur on these layers to say that it's slightly far away from the glass. It just broke and it's sort of moving away from the glass. So it's slightly out of focus. So we're gonna go to blur and apply a Gaussian blur in here. We want to bring down the value. So it's, it's not like too blurred, it's still visible, but you know, it's not sharp as the rest of the things. We can apply a little bit of blur to another element as well. So maybe, um, yeah, for this, we can go pick Gaussian blur and portion of that is blurred, right? And now we have the effect, right? It actually looks pretty interesting. We're gonna separate the without glass layer and we're gonna merge all the other layers together. So I'm gonna take all the layers in here and I'm gonna press Control E to merge all those layers together. So we are just separating the without glass thing. I just want to add a little bit of stain into the glass. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to filter, I'm gonna to go to noise, and I'm gonna add a noise in here. So um, that's it. We have uh, an interesting effect. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a bit from this particular tutorial. Try it out with your own text. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe like and comment. I will see you soon with another video. Till then, bye.